Kumusta kayong muli mga grade 5 learners? Tayo pa rin ay nasa quarter 3, module 3, more about polygons. This time, ang ating lesson, Visualizing Congruent Polygons. Good day! Try to look around at your surroundings. What do you see? Figures and shapes all around. Isn't it wonderful? All the things that your eyes can see was made from different figures, shapes in all forms and sizes. Now, that is one simple form of math I tell you. So, this module will help you to understand more about polygons. After going through this module, you are expected to visualize the congruent polygons. This is lesson 3, Visualizing Congruent Polygons. We already know how to describe and compare the properties of polygons. In this lesson, we will now know how to visualize the congruent polygons. Congruent polygons are the comparison of two alike polygons with corresponding sides and angles. To illustrate congruency, it is represented by the symbol means congruent to. Mang Wan is a carpenter. He builds houses and buildings. His daughter Gabi visits his father to work and observes that the floor tiles have the same shape and size like congruent polygons. The hexagon floor tiles observed by Gabi were placed by his father on a pattern. Take a closer look at the section of the tiles. Congruent polygons are two polygons that have corresponding sides and corresponding angles with one another. In the figures above, the hexagon tiles are congruent polygons. Let's take a look at their sides. Line segment AB is congruent to line segment GH. Line segment DE is congruent to line segment JK. Line segment BC is congruent to line segment HI. Line segment EF is congruent to line segment KL. Line segment CD is congruent to line segment IJ. And line segment AF is congruent to line segment GL. Let's take a look at these angles. Angle ABC is congruent to angle GHI. Since angle ABC is congruent to angle GHI, given that angle ABC is 120 degrees, then angle GHI is 120 degrees. Angle BCD is congruent to angle HIJ. Since angle BCD is congruent to angle HIJ, given that angle BCD is 120 degrees, then angle HIJ is 120 degrees. 
angle CDE is congruent to angle IJK since angle CDE is congruent to angle IJK given that angle CDE is 120 degrees then angle IJK is 120 degrees angle DEF is congruent to angle JKL since angle DEF is congruent to angle JKL given that angle DEF is 120 degrees then angle JKL is 120 degrees angle EFA is congruent to angle KLG since angle EFA is congruent to angle KLG given that angle EFA is 120 degrees then angle KLG is 120 degrees The angles of figure 1 are congruent to the angles of figure 2. Therefore, figure 1 is congruent to figure 2. Remember, the vertex of its figure is important. You should bear in mind that the vertex of figure 1 is corresponding to the vertex of figure 2. For example, Vertex A is corresponding to vertex G, and so on. Activity 1. Find the measurement of the congruent polygon based on the figure below. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. By sides, ating alamin, ang line segment BC is equal to 6 cm base sa figure. Ganon din ang line segment EF that is also 6 cm. Therefore, ang line segment AC is also 6 cm. Meron pang tatlong line segments at inyong alamin, ganon din syempre ang kanilang measurement. Sunod natin ang by angles. Makikita sa figure, angle A is 60 degrees. Ganon din ang angle D, 60 degrees. Siyempre, ganon din ang angle B, 60 degrees. Hanapin pa ang tatlong angles at ang kanilang measurement. For activity 2, fill in the blanks. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Number 1. If line segment BC measures 6 cm, then line segment EF measures 6 cm also. Number 2. If angle A equals 60 degrees, then angle D measures 60 degrees din. Then, kindly answer number 3, 4, and 5. Supply the missing words. Choose your answer from the box below. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. The comparison of two alike polygons with corresponding sides and angles are congruent polygons. 2. To illustrate congruency, it is represented by the symbol congruent sign, which means blank. Congruent polygons are blank that have corresponding sides and corresponding angles with one another. On a sheet of paper, List 5 congruent polygons that you can see on your surroundings. For additional activities, on a sheet of paper, draw a congruent polygon that you can see on your surroundings. Identify the type of polygon presented by each of the following figures. 
write your answer on a sheet of paper. Number one, that is irregular polygon. Number two, convex. Then, sagutan ang number three, four, and five. Count the number of sides of its polygon and classify what type of polygon is it based on its number of sides. Number one, let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 sides and that is octagon. Number 2, let us count the sides. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 sides and that is decagon. Then continue answering number 3, 4, and 5. Find the measurement of the sides and angles of the figure below. Given that the sum of all the sides of the figure is 1,800 cm and the sum of all the angles is 1,440 degrees. Punahin natin ang sides. Since yan ay decagon, there are 10 sides. That is plain segment DE and that is 180 centimeters. Next is plain segment ET and that is 180 centimeters also. Then for angles, that is angle D and that is 140 degrees another is angle E that is also 140 degrees then continue answering number 3, 4 up to 10 find the measurement of the corresponding sides and angles of the congruent polygon Number 1, line segment AB, which is 10 millimeters, is congruent to line segment EF, which is also 10 millimeters. For number 4, angle ABC, which is 90 degrees, is congruent to angle EFG which is also 90 degrees Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood naway nakatulong ang video na to para sa inyong aralin Naayayahan ko kayo mag-subscribe mag-comment at i-share ito sa iba niyong mga classmates Hanggang sa muli Paalam